With the advent of the next examination, the time that you have to prepare for your post-graduation comparative exam has drastically reduced by 10 months. If you're in the first year of MBBS, you've just entered your medical college and have got a small glimpse of it. If not, if your college is going to start in the month of February, I'm going to tell you the crazy untold stories about medical college and how as you're doing your MBBS syllabus, you can prepare for your post-graduation medical exams as well. An exam which you would have had after your internship, after you have a little bit of clinical knowledge, a little bit of clinical acumen has been preponed by 10 months. An exam which you would be answering during your internship, you'll be answering it at the end of your final year exam. So it makes proper sense to actually prepone the start of your preparation right up till first year of MBBS. Now we know that the next exam is highly, highly clinically oriented, right? It's going to be based on your clinical cases that you see in the wards. But what happens is that during your MBBS, you don't get so much of exposure in the clinical wards. And especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, it is not possible for the hospitals to allow each and every single student in the wards and interact with the patients because of the fear of Corona. Now, internship is a time when you get a completely holistic purview of the entire clinical scenario in the country. Now, but since this is going to be a pre-internship exam, you will not have that same amount of clinical acumen that an intern would have right now to answer that particular exam. Of course, this is a huge controversial area why NEXT is being held before internship even though it's going to be a clinical exam. We have no clue about this guys and I don't want to go into that route of controversy but I'm just here to show you how you can start preparing in the first year of MBBS for this next exam. One online platform that is doing absolutely brilliant job with their updates is Marrow. Yes, I know I've spoken a lot about Marrow on this channel but each and every single year as they upgrade their resources as they upgrade their modules, the question banks, and the results that they've got in their recently conducted INICT exam, Marrow completely dazzles me. And this is again why I'll be talking about the Marrow Edition 5, which will be coming sometime in January 2021. So, Marrow in the Edition 5 is updating their modules. Their teachers will be showing you clinical case videos such as this, images and even much more clinically oriented instruments, x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, and they'll be providing a proper comprehensive package of the entire topic at the comfort of your home or your hostel environment where it is not possible for us to go to the ward every single day. Imagine you are a first year MBBS student and you're getting the same clinical exposure as a final year MBBS student or an intern even, just in your first year of MBBS. Now in the first year of MBBS, what is important is that the diluted version of the medical language comes to you. What I mean by is that as you'll be going through MBBS, you'll come across a lot of terms that will confuse you, like erythema, like papules, like macules, like nebula, like lacunae, like giant cells. So many new words are being thrown at you. So this is where you need a proper professor or a teacher that will dilute those concepts and be able to understand that for you in your first year of MBBS itself. And this is where the Marrow faculty excels at this. Like Dr. Raviraj of Marrow, he'll properly draw the diagrams and teach you how to draw the anatomy. And one advantage is that you can replicate these diagrams in your university exams. So that is also a double-edged advantage to you. Dr. Krishna Kumar will explain to you the complicated physiology in very simple words with writing each and every single concept and explaining them beautifully. Dr. Rebecca James will teach you biochemistry like no teacher ever. Her mnemonics, her stories, her mind maps absolutely simplifies the biochemistry that people think is very tough to study in the first year of MBBS. So if you're in the first year of MBBS, definitely sign up for Marrow Edition 5. So I look at using marrow in this particular way. Let your layer one of knowledge be from marrow. Because in your layer one of knowledge, when you start a fresh topic, you would want to get which are the most important concepts, the most important points, the most important images in this particular topic. Once marrow has provided you that a good conceptual standpoint in this particular topic, you can go ahead with the standard books and build your knowledge in them. For example, in anatomy, you can start using BD Chaurasia. In physiology, you can use your Guyton. And in biochemistry, 
your Harper and your Lipin Court. Now, as you build upon this knowledge, you'd want to consolidate this knowledge somewhere. You'd want to practice answering the common questions asked in your university exam or your next exam. So for this, you have the Mado Edition 5 updated QBank. Now, what is beautiful about this QBank, and if you see a few of the sample questions, they, they are adapted to the next pattern. The next pattern is going to be a clinical case scenario based MCQ exam. Correct. So this is where Marrow comes in. They are updating their QBank so that their videos, their QBank and the next pattern are properly aligned. And if you go in this particular fashion, Marrow videos, standard textbooks, the QBank, it is the perfect preparation for next, I believe. One more advantage with the question bank is that after each and every single MCQ, they have a proper detailed explanation for each and every single option in the particular question. And not only that, if you scroll down, you will actually get the source from which that MCQ is being prepared. For example, if you're answering a question in physiology, they will tell you which particular page in the latest edition of Guyton this concept or this paragraph or this fact is. So that makes it very easier for you to go back to your source, to your standard textbook and actually read that concept in the complete paragraph format so that you never ever forget. But it's very easy to be completely overwhelmed with the course material in MBBS, especially first year of MBBS when you're just thrown into the system and you're told, you know, to just start swimming. But this is where you want to make things easier for yourself. Talk to your seniors, see the videos of other creators and I absolutely thank you for watching this particular channel to watch these particular videos because it motivates me also to share the strategies that I use to make the medical school much, much more easier. So you will want to get all these tips and come up with your own system of studying. Take two, three months in MBBS to figure out yourself, to figure out your studying patterns, whether you are a morning uh, person or you are a night owl. And one more word of caution is that these are not like a need UG days. You need to collaborate with your students, with your peers to understand MBBS. Discuss those cases, discuss the tough topics, explain the concepts to each other. Because MBBS is about the individual. You are an individual working for humanity, quite literally. So forget about the competitive spirit. MBBS is about collaboration. Just like how the Department of Anesthesia combines with the Department of Surgery for a successful surgery, you need your peers to completely smoothly sail in MBBS. So that's it guys for this particular video. If it cleared your doubts regarding the usage of Marrow Edition 5 in your first year of MBBS, do consider giving it a like. Comment your doubts if you have any more doubts in the comment section below. And tomorrow is Republic Day, so I definitely make sure to devote a little bit more time in answering those comments. Your support means a lot, lot to me. And in the month of January, we just crossed a thousand subscribers on this YouTube channel, which was completely unbelievable for me that you guys watch these videos, you guys comment in the comment section below, you guys hit the links in the description and come to my Instagram and ask me the personal questions in the DMs guys. It motivates me to continue on this path, not only of YouTube, but as a medical student as well. Because now I know that there are strangers on the internet. They confide in me some of their deepest secrets, sometimes which they don't even tell their parents. So it really motivates me guys. I thank you so much for the support that you provide to me on this particular channel. And as always guys, I will see you in the next one.